In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your domain name that you purchase on Namecheap to your website hosting account using the DNS server settings. So here I am on my website, asknickfoy.com, and we're going to go over here to the resource library tab, and it's going to take you to my ultimate resource page. You can scroll down here, and you're going to see that I recommend Namecheap for hosting and domain URLs under this section. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Namecheap there, and it's gonna open up Namecheap.com. So Namecheap is a domain register. It's where you can search different domain URLs. So for example, if I searched asknickfoy.com and I clicked enter, it's gonna show me that my website domain is currently taken because I already own it. So it's gonna give me some alternative domain names that I could purchase if I wanted to, but right now it shows that this one's not available. So we can hit that back button, get back to the search bar. You can search all kinds of different domain names. So if you're a real estate agent, you know, you could do your name. So I could do nickfoyrealestate.com and we could search that domain. So once you purchase a domain name, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign into your name cheap account. So inside my name cheap account, I've got the domain list tab over here under the dashboard. We're gonna click on that and it's gonna open up a list of all the domains that you own in your account. So I've bought several different domain names. Uh, if you're a real estate agent, you might wanna buy you know, a couple different domain names that you might wanna use. You could have one for your main website and then you could have a couple others that just serve as like landing pages that you could put on signs uh, and they could redirect people to your main website as well. So you could have them forwarding to your main website. Uh, but here we are and I'm gonna find this one called golfpracticetemplates.com. I actually need to set this one up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click manage. All right, so under the Manage tab, you're gonna see a page that looks like this. So we are under this Domain tab. We can see status and validity. It's an active domain currently. It's got who is guard protection, meaning that you know spammers won't be able to see your email and contact info. Hopefully, they'll be leaving you alone. You won't get a bunch of spam emails. Now, we wanna come down here to where it says Name Servers. So right now, it's set to the Name Cheap Basic DNS Servers. We wanna point our name servers to our hosting company. So we're gonna do custom DNS. Now it's gonna populate two boxes that says name server one, name server two. So what we need to do now is go find the, basically the IP address or the DNS address that we wanna point these name servers to. That's gonna connect our domain name to our hosting company. So you're gonna to need to sign into your hosting company uh, to find the name server addresses for your DNS. All right, so I use SiteGround. Again, we can come back here to our resources tab and all you gotta do is start scrolling down this page and you'll find SiteGround. Uh, an alternative way to do it would just be to type in my website, asknickfoy.com uh, slash SiteGround if you wanna use my affiliate link to help give me credit for referring you to SiteGround. Uh, you can help me out there. Uh, but basically, once you type in this custom URL here, asknickfoy.com slash SiteGround, or if you wanna come to my resource library and browse all my different recommended resources, you'll find SiteGround on there as well. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna see SiteGround pop open here. They're a web hosting company, uh, basically that allows you to rent space on the internet. That's what allows your website to be live on the internet. You pay for hosting. It's really cheap, it's like $3, $4 a month. Uh, so it's very inexpensive. You can have your website hosted for $50 for the entire year, and that's worth it. You know, if you're a real estate agent trying to send clients or get internet leads, you know, people searching We Buy House websites or looking for specific neighborhoods in your city, they might type in a neighborhood that you have on your website. So there's different ways to use your website. So it's important to, you know, to fork out that $50 a year for website hosting. So once you've purchased your hosting, and again, I'm not gonna go through it in this video. We cover it in other videos. I'll show you how to sign up for hosting with SiteGround and, a, and another video on my YouTube channel if you wanna browse my playlist. Uh, but once you've signed into SiteGround, you're gonna see this home page here uh, with the home tab. We actually wanna click on the My Accounts tab here. So go ahead and click on that and it's gonna load that page which looks like this. So we can kinda see our general account here. I've got the Grow Big account which allows me to have multiple domain names which are listed down here. We can also see what version of WordPress each of our websites running on currently and if one of them is not on the most current version like this one under 30wealth.com for example is only on WordPress 5.2.2. All right, so the next step we wanna do though is we wanna to go to our cPanel as this is where we're gonna find those DNS addresses. 
All right, when the cPanel page loads, you wanna come over here to the left side and you're gonna see name servers right here. And there's two of them, NS1 and NS2. So we're gonna click and highlight those and copy paste them. We're just gonna simply come back over here into our Namecheap, paste them into the name server one and name server two slot. Then we wanna make sure that we hit this little blue check mark here to click save. And that's gonna update the name servers inside of Namecheap, pointing our domain name to our hosting account. So now anytime somebody goes to our domain name, it's automatically gonna open up your website, which is hosted with your hosting account, which in this case is SiteGround. So that wraps up this video showing you how to purchase a domain name on Namecheap and then connecting it to your hosting account by finding those name server addresses and copy pasting them into a custom DNS name server slot one and slot two inside of your Namecheap account.